All right, guys, welcome to episode two of The Promised Neverland season two. As you can already remember in episode one, long story short, all the kids, they were in the forest, they escaped mama, some big ass creepy monster was freaking chasing them throughout the forest and then somebody ended up rescuing them. But towards the end of the episode of episode one, the people that rescued them were actually demons, just like the people that were pursuing them. So right now we're trying to find out what are the demons motives and why did they help out the children in the first place? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up and let's get started with this video. Okay, so we're finally here. Hopefully they're like vegetarian demons. And where are the rest of the kids? Wait, but why is she smiling though? It's like she's up to no good. Wait a minute, so they're protecting the kids. Bro, they're actually good demons. They even told them where the kids were and everything. This is so weird. And they got the kids food. All the kids are okay and they got food, bruh. So look at her face. Muju? What? We don't eat humans, so they're vegetarians, right? They gotta be vegetarians. Alright, so I'm gonna have to pause it right here. It is so weird how they're helping them out, but they're just so freaking creepy looking. I don't know. They might have some ulterior motive. Who knows? Maybe they're not eating them to probably... Who knows? Maybe they're gonna do a deal with the other people. Like, hey, if you give me this, we will give up these children. Maybe they're holding them, like I said, ransom for some type of negotiation purposes because I don't see why they would be doing this because deep down wouldn't they get in trouble also by the council of the of the big demons and shit if they were you know holding on to children that are potentially right now on the run and they're trying to get them I don't know what's gonna happen man but this shit ain't looking too this shit ain't looking good so they're all believing them they even fed the kids with her nasty ass fingers, oh my goodness. They praying too? They praying to Jesus? They prayed and even eat to Dakimas? Oh no. <laughs> I don't trust it, bro. I don't trust it. Even Ray likes the food. He's like, this is delicious. The meat and potatoes to this is why are they doing this? Why are they helping us? That's what I want to know. Because there ain't no... There's got to be a reason. Religious reasons? So they're not eating humans for our faith? Wow, so so it's kind of like they're vegetarians. They eat anything else but humans. And it's because of their freaking beliefs. Wait, it's been a while since I talked to humans like this? What happened to the last humans? This shit sound like some Undertale story. So what you're saying is in the beginning, before all this shit happened, Demons were hunting humans, but then the humans were like, fuck that, I don't want to get hunted. And then they decided to hunt the demons back. And then it was just a constant back and forth and a non-stop war between the demons and the humans fighting each other because they don't want to keep getting, you know, hunted. They don't want to become the prey. So it's kind of like, like what the hell is going on? So they came to some type of agreement. Okay, so they came to like a truce. This area is the demon side of the world. Wait a minute, hold on whoa bro this shit is getting crazy so okay so what you're saying is they came to an agreement years ago and the world split in two where it's kind of like one side is for humans one side is for demons and these guys were just unfortunately one of the people that they're just the unfortunate children that ended up on the demon side of of the whole world and that's where they're breeding and having these kids constantly become made so they could eat them because they have to eat because demons need to eat you bro these guys are just unlucky from birth <laughs> yo man the look of ray's face says it all man so they made a promise and they've been separated the same way for a thousand years so now all they have to do is just get out there is hope so they just have to manage to get to the human side look there's a separate world for humans a world without demons exactly wait what you can't cross over to the human world why not it's part of the agreement so they just have to now manage to get to the human side even though the guy did say that apparently nobody has managed to cross the worlds because it's part of the agreement now i see what's the main goal of season two because really in season one the goal was just get out of the farm but then once we got out of the farm and we're looking at season two i was kind of like just in limbo like okay what are they gonna do now in this situation i'm glad to see that now we actually have an objective and now we just gotta somehow manage to find the human side of the world which could be like you know because the earth is huge how far away are they from the human side of the world Shit, the way out of this forest in the morning thank god because this forest was terrible hopefully he's not bullshitting oh they outside looking for him 
Oh, but he wrote down the code. So is this the last time that we're going to see these guys? Nah, they're bugging. They're bugging. So now they're trying to change their plans and say that we got to save the other children in the other farms. Bro, look, I'm going to be real with you. In this situation, I feel like it's every man for themselves. You see, look, this kid is already smart right now. He says our escape was difficult already. That's what I'm trying to say. How the hell these guys are all coming to some weird ass unanimous decision along the lines of let's go to all the other farms and rescue all the children over there. We barely, barely managed to get out of mama's farm. And now you're telling me, oh, now we got to go to each and every separate farm. Who knows how many other other farms it could be five ten it could be 50 other farms bro our number one priority is to get the fuck back to the human side that's it i don't know why the fuck they talking about let's rescue the other children i'm sorry but little jimmy you're gonna have to fight for yourself and end up growing up or something because <laughs> i ain't going to those other farms bro dude She's too optimistic right now. I mean, it's good to have a lot of optimism, but you got to be realistic as well. So they're going to end up going to a wasteland? And they're going to... What? It's going to take days to still get out of the forest. And then when you end up in a wasteland, there's going to be less cover. So a demon can see you from, like, down the block. Oh, so they're going to teach him how to start... Okay, finally. They're going to teach him some Minecraft skills. How to make a fire. How to make some food. Let's go. True. True. If she's not feeling well, she got to tell us immediately, 100%. She almost got screwed in the last episode because her damn ear had a freaking infection. God knows what. No buts. God damn. She mad close to her face. You better back off. Oh, shit. Now the little kid's about to beat Ray's ass. <laughs> the kids are like, yo, look at Ray. He's trying to die again. Bro, what kind of emo ass joke? Oh, my God. Is everyone going to start crying now? Okay, so this is a very wholesome scene. They're basically letting Ray and Emma know, hey, we care about you. If you're going through something, let us know. We're in this shit together. We got this. This is so wholesome, bro. Stop it, bro. Not trying to make me cry. That's probably the best food they eaten in a while, bro. That shit looking like, if you were Dominican, that shit looking like Sancocho right now, bro. That shit got pollo, pedazo de maíz in that bitch. Mm. That shit making me hungry. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Bro, this shit looking like Undertale right now. What is going on? I don't know why I'm getting so much Undertale vibes from, from this season. Because it's kind of like the interactions between monsters and humans. It, it's just bringing me back, man. All we need is Flowey's bitch ass to pop up. They're out here training, learning how to make bow and arrows. Oh my god, they're on their Minecraft shit. Lil Jimmy shot a perfect shot as well. Now imagine if we had a world like that where demons and humans can live together in harmony without all the animosity that they were talking about in the beginning about demons fighting humans and humans fighting demons damn emma's a good shot oh no he's about to scope out the area oh no please don't get this guy killed off sonju nah 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 emma about to go with sonju oh my god something bad's about to happen bro so i think something bad's about to happen to sonju because these demons already don't like sonju and it's like three versus one and they're about to go outside outside in the yo they're, they're wide open oh my god bro i don't have a good feeling about this you said she what she wants to learn how to kill a living thing bro this is this is some The Last of Us shit. I'm getting Joel and Ellie vibes now, right? She with the demon like, yo, teach me how to hunt. Teach me how to get food. Teach me how to supply for the little Jimmies that I gotta be, that I gotta be, you know, taken care of. So now he about to teach her how to hunt? This is so crazy. If you don't fight, you can't protect anyone. Big facts. Your family or yourself. Come on, man. You could do it. Oh, she caught this man lacking. Good shot. Next is Gunpa. The hell was that? Is that the shit? Is that the shit that they put on Connie in episode one? <laughs> oh, Connie. Oh shit! You dedicate. Wait, if the gods accept it, the flower will bloom. Then you can eat the meat. That's the shit with the Connie shit in episode one. I will never forget that shit, bro. That shit fucked everybody up in episode one. That's basically the rules of the earth, honestly, or the rules of life. It's it's eat or be eaten. That's what I'm saying. It's just like Undertale, bro. What? Don't throw up. Like what Flowey says. It's kill or be killed. It's eat or be eaten. Oh, look. she's still, You see, I told you she's talking about Connie. Norman, uh. Not Norman. Please, not Norman. Yo, nothing bad better happen to Sanju. I I'm gonna be really mad if something happened to Sanju. Oh, what did Emma bring back? She brought back some chicken, bro. Some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Nah, bro, you looking a little sus. All right, so that is the end of episode two. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I feel like the season of... Like, season two is starting off really slow. Because... 
how the way season one popped off was ridiculous because like episode one had that shit with connie that shit threw everybody into a loop and then episode two was just gradually like in season one getting crazier and crazier and crazier each episode it's like these episodes now season two right episode one was kind of like all right we're here we're outside we met the the demons that that randomly rescued us there's other demons that are pursuing us because they know that we left the whole village yada 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 right now episode two is a little bit of, of the same thing the demons are here they helped us out they're teaching emma how to freaking um get food hunt prepare materials they're teaching the children the same thing we ended up finding out at least the good thing right like like i said we ended up finding out about the lore about uh, uh years and years ago apparently the world is split in two where it's like there's a human side and there's a demon side and apparently they ended up being on the demon side that there's more markets or more farms around the area that's also harboring kids and all types of shit but it's like i feel like it, th this is going to be one of those shows or this is going to be one of those seasons that is going to like it's going to take time it's going to take a lot of time for it to like really pop off so it might take probably a good like extra i feel like it's not going to pop off till maybe episode four or episode five before like some crazy shit happens and by some crazy shit i feel like potentially a death i'm just saying i don't know i feel like one of the important likable characters might end up getting killed off or might get put into a situation where it's going to be leaving us at a cliffhanger where it's going to be a life or death thing but so far season two to me i'm enjoying it but i feel like it's it's very slow right now like i said hopefully nothing happens to sanju because that's what it's kind of looking like i feel like um they're gonna end up in a scenario where where they go back outside again and sanju's probably looking around to scout the area and the three demons are gonna find him and he's gonna get like you know surrounded because there's gonna be the dog one and the two that are just like really tall i don't know what's gonna happen but anyway if you guys enjoyed this episode please hit that thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new i'll see you guys in the next episode or in the next live stream thank you guys again peace